that's St. Mullock's Church. Oh yeah, the, the roof tiles are falling off. You might notice it's a bit dark in here. That's because this church has no electricity and no running water. It's lit by oil lamps. The, the church itself was, well not this particular church, but this site was consecrated in 560. So it's been here for quite a while, like 1500 years. Uh, this particular building was built in the 1200s, I think. But as, as usual, Julia will probably know more about it than me. No. Um, apparently, they used to worship the god of the sea. Right. You know who it is? Shawnee? Yeah. Yeah. So they used to brew ale here. Yes. As in the beer? Yeah, they brewed beer, ale here, and they were taking a glass of ale down to the cliffs that we were at and fired it off the cliffs as a sort of an offering to the god of sea and in the hope that he would give them a good crop of seaweed because they use seaweed to fertilise other um, farmland. It's quite a long days. drawn out process. You've got to grow the grain to make the ale, to throw it into the sea, to get more seaweed. Fertilise green. Yeah. Don't forget there wasn't like um, YouTube and stuff then, so there's plenty of time in their hands. Good point. Yeah. I have to admit, it's one of the coolest old churches I've been in. It's a bit of a cone. Yeah, the stained glass window is not actually a stained glass window, it's a panel that hangs in front of the window. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. And yeah, this church is actually still used. As you can see. It's got a really cool old font. Read some more about this church. In the 13th century, it was renamed St. Olaf's after Olaf the Black of Norway. And it's one, well, it's one of the four places of the Holy Pilgrimage in Scotland for the cure for insanity and sores. And is one of the most remote Christian outposts in Europe, apparently. You can see all the green uh, in the walls. And... I've decided that all the churches we've been in, this is my favourite. And there are priories and Chapels, I like this one. Proper church. You like it? I do like it. But it's not Plus Garden Abbey, which is my favourite place on earth now. No, this is... This is yeah. <laughs> right, Julie just read some more about this. What is it? I'm just going to read it off the page because it's quite convoluted. Um, for those who were considered insane, they were brought to the church in person. After being sprinkled with water from near by St. Roman's Well, the person was led three or seven times round the outside of the church and then bound hand and foot and led before the altar on the stone pillow of the saint which was kept at the church. After spending the night in the church, if the person was still found to be insane, they were declared incurable. Rites and ceremonies in connection with people and mental health issues continued in the early 20th century and the local expression, take you to the temple, was used to threaten anyone behaving foolishly, take note. What? Well, 